Okay, this is a beginner's tutorial on the Cisco IOS and command line interface and how to run commands on a router. So first of all, we'll start with a router. So I'll click on routers here. I'll grab a generic router, um, the first generic router right here. Then end devices. I'm going to get a PC. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, pretend this is a brand new router, and we've got a computer here, and we're going to want to make a console connection to the router. So we'll go to connections, we'll grab a console port or console cable and we'll attach it to the serial port on the computer and then drag up and then click on the router and then click on the console port. And so this is a virtual console connection from a PC to a router. Okay, and now we can also um, virtually set up a terminal session to the router. So click on the PC and we'll go to desktop and you'll see that uh, terminal is an emulator for a uh, hyper terminal typically on a um, computer. Also you could use on your computer you could use putty if you wanted to set up a console connection to your router. So we'll just click on terminal it's got the default configurations already set for you so all you have to do is click OK and what you're left with is a dialog screen that you would see on a if you had a um, brand new router out of the box with um, basically an empty configuration file or no configuration file and you can see here that the um, the router has booted you can see here the bootstrap and then some um, some copyright information, some opening information, and then here at the bottom it says system configuration dialog. Now this is a wizard that will walk you through step by step configuring an initial configuration of your router. But typically in Cisco class you don't use this line by line wizard for configuring your router. So we'll just type in no here. So I've typed in no and hit enter and then you're just you'll see a please return to get started message and press return and there you are you're left with a prompt it says router with the user privileged or user exec mode prompt right there okay and so it's ready to take commands so even though this um, PC um, virtual terminal connection is really great and it looks like we're configuring this router I can probably get this text a little bit bigger in the interest of the video tutorial by just clicking on the router and then clicking on command line interface and I've set the font to be a little bit bigger which I think works better for the tutorial so I'm gonna just use the routers virtual command line interface so um, press return and I can keep pressing return here and this is the um, user exec prompt right this um, greater than sign and if I want to get to the different um, command modes so this is the basic command mode in this command mode what we can do is before we do that I'll just type in a question mark and it shows me all of the commands that are available in this basic level user exec command mode so you can see I can run a, a telnet command I could run an SSH command I have access to a few of the show commands right um, let's take a look at that so we'll type in show and then space and then a question mark and you can see here that I can do a show ARP, a show CDP, right? But I cannot do a show running configuration or startup configuration, but I can do a show version command. So I have access to some of the show commands. Um, also, if I type question mark again and hit enter, you can see here that I have access um, to the ping command and um, and then if I want to get to a more privileged mode see it says here turn on privileged commands I can type enable and to get to a higher uh, mode command mode on the router so that's what I'll do here I'll type in enable and hit enter and now the prompt changes from a greater than sign to a pound sign which indicates that I'm now in privileged exec mode privileged user mode 
Okay, so now in privileged exec mode, I have access to um, even more commands. So if you type question mark, you'll see that the commands run through to another screen. If I want to see the, the rest of the screen or, or the rest of the commands, I can hit enter and look at them line by line, or I can hit the space bar to look at another screen worth of, of the commands. And so then these are all the commands that you have available to you in um, in privileged exec mode. And then um, to get to uh, configuration mode or what's called global configuration mode, you type in configure space terminal and hit enter and then you'll see the word config in between parentheses and then a pound sign and that indicates um, that indicates that you are in global configuration mode. And this is the mode that you could use to change the router name, to configure your interfaces, to turn on routing protocols, you name it, all kinds of stuff. For instance, if I want to change this, um, the name of this router to, let's see here, let's see, type in host name, right? Host name, and then if you're not sure what the rest of the command is, you'll just hit a space and type a question mark and then it tells you a word you need a word the systems networks name so it tells you exactly what to do so what I'll do is I'll just type in the name I'll type in Dan's courses and now the routers name is Dan's courses or I could type in host name R1 which is something you typically see and now the routers host name is R1 okay now to now that we have changed the router's host name, we want to save this to the configuration file. And to do that, what I'm going to do is is I'm going to um, exit out of this mode and go back to privileged mode. And to do that, what I can do is I can just hit um, Control C, which will um, take me out of that mode, and I can hit Enter. And again, and now you see here I'm back in privileged mode, and now I want to save that configuration. So I'm going to say copy running and I'm gonna do another uh, thing here I've typed in run and then I'm gonna hit tab and then um, it tab completes to the full command which is running dash config right so I'm gonna copy the running configuration running config space and I'll type sta and then I'll hit tab and it tab completion uh, finishes it for me finishes the command for me which is um, startup config and this command will copy the running configuration file in RAM to the startup configuration file which is saved in NVRAM or non-volatile RAM so if I do that it'll ask me the destination file name I can give it a file name here or it can accept the default which is startup dash config and that's what we usually do in class is accept the default hit enter and it builds the configuration file and I've saved the configuration file. So now if I was to restart the router, um, the, the configuration, the hostname R1, will be saved. The router command line interface reminds me a lot of a Linux terminal command line interface. So if I want to go back in the history of the commands that I've used on each um, command mode, all I have to do is hit up arrow and it will cycle through as I keep hitting up arrow it'll cycle through the commands that I've used in my history. Um, that's another one of the features that it has. If I want to look at my running configuration file which is something that I do quite a bit, I'm going to type a show. And show commands are very important. Um, if you want to see all of the show commands from privileged exec mode you type in show and then space and then a question mark but in this case I'm just gonna say I want to show the run I'm gonna hit tab completion show the running configuration and this shows me the running configuration file so the running configuration file is shows me the version of essentially the um, I believe that's the version of the iOS it shows me a couple of default uh, commands that are in the configuration file by default and notice the host name r1 and then not much else. If I hit more spacebar, you can see that I have interfaces here. For instance, interface fast ethernet 00, fast ethernet 10, but there's no IP address 
and the interface has been shut down. So administratively shut down by default. I'm going to hit more again, spacebar, and you can see here that we have um, uh, administrative interfaces. We have line console zero. This is my console connection, which I can configure, and this is line virtual terminal. This is um, how this is an administrative configuration or administrative interface for Telnet or SSH, and you can see line VTY. You have zero space four. That means I have I can set up five or configure five virtual terminals that I can connect to the router with. So we'll be showing I'll be showing you how to configure those as well. I'll hit more again spacebar. <clears throat> 